the chief guest, Mr. Sadananda Gowda, my brother and sister judges of the Supreme Court and the High Court, chairman and members of the Bar Council of India, Bar Council of Tamil Nadu, the Advocate General, senior advocates, members of the Bar. The Advocates Act has placed a heavy responsibility on the shoulders of the Bar Council to safeguard the rights, privileges, and the interests of its advocates, to promote and support law reform, to organize legal aid to the poor, to monitor legal education, and to organize welfare schemes for the indigent and the disabled advocates. Thus, the Bar Council is designed to be a social welfare organization, and I am happy that it is organizing such events in different parts of the country to achieve its goal. The legal profession has a social dimension, and the advocate has a social role to play in the society. The social dimension becomes a very relevant issue when we look at the manner in which legal services remain, by and large, inaccessible to the common man. Access to inexpensive and expeditious justice is a basic human right. The availability of advocates to defend the rights of all individuals is an indispensable aspect of the rule of law. The urgent need for the legal profession is to become people-oriented and serve as healers of human conflicts and suffering. Our Union Minister for Law, Mr. Sadananda Gowda, while speaking at the Bar Council's conclave held at Tiruvannandapuram four months ago, hailed the national litigation policy as big leap and said that the government would repeal 1,700 obsolete and redundant tax. We hope that national litigation policy 2015, which is under consideration of the government of India, would be aimed at reducing litigation filed by government bodies and resolving civil disputes through ADR methods. Sustainable development, a notion of obligation to future generation, is one of the important concerns to globalized and developing nations like India, which is still confronted with many social, economic, and environmental challenges, such as global warming, health issues, toxins release, water crisis and pollution. There is need to protect and preserve and improve the state of environment to ensure sustainable development by providing access to information, public participation in decision making in environmental matters. Many speakers are going to address the gathering in both the sessions today, and I'm sure that the participants will be benefited. Thank you. Distinguished gathering, good afternoon to you. As I told you in the morning, the state is the largest litigant today, and the huge expenditure involved makes a big draft on the public exchequer. The government originally framed national litigation policy of the year 2010 and launched the same on 23-6-2010. Now five years have gone. They, have, they are reviewing the policy. It is under consideration. From what Honorable Minister said in the morning, the policy will be out in another 15 days. We trust and hope that the government will come out some guidelines to bring down pendency and reduce the government litigation. Access to justice as a human right concept was known in ancient India. The idea of dharma, which was all pervasive, included within its sweep this concept also. So far as our constitution is concerned, a common thread originates from the preamble and runs through the texture of Articles 14, 21, 22, 32, 38, 39A, 142, and 226. And it guarantees the rights. They are confined, not only confined to citizens alone, but also includes persons who are not citizens, 
they can enforce in certain circumstances these rights. The judiciary has a special role to play in the task of achieving socio-economic goals enshrined in the Constitution. PIL is one such initiative taken by the judiciary to give a platform to justice to disadvantaged sections of society. PIL could also contribute to good governance by keeping the government accountable and is aimed at providing access to society at large. But merely widening the access to justice is not enough to secure redress of the weaker sections of the community. The litigation is getting increasingly costlier and there is agonizing delay in the process. That is the reason the alternative dispute resolution method is thought of as a viable strategy. Now, the judicial intervention and the legal services movement go hand in hand and one supplements the other. In my view, we, the people of India, can legitimately boast of a people-oriented jurisprudence with unimpeded access to justice. Thank you.